Hey guys, it's Sarah Jane, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to talk to you about three dark crowns and why you should be supporting Catherine. So Three Dark Crowns is an amazing new release by author Kendare Blake. This is the first Kendare Blake book that I have read and I have to tell you that I gave it five out of five stars because it's amazing. I love it. If you're interested in watching a spoiler free review of this book it will be up on my channel in a few days time. On the island of Fenburn every year a set of triplets are born. Now these triplets are all equal heirs to the crown but when they turn 16 they have to fight to the death because two queens must die so that one can reign. So now it's time to talk about the queens. Now we have Mirabella who is a very very powerful elemental. She can summon fire, she can summon lightning and out of the three queens she is the most powerful. Then we have Arsinoe. Now Arsinoe is rumoured to be able to bloom the reddest of roses. She is a naturalist queen. She is supposed to have a familiar, but I've heard a rumour that she hasn't got her familiar yet. So while she is the people's queen, while she is very... She's someone that people can look up to. She's not someone who is interested in being royal as such. She's very much a people's queen. While that's all well and good, and a nice trait to have, if you haven't really got much of a power you're probably not going to last very long. And then we have the final queen, which is Catherine. Now, I am here to talk to you about why you should be supporting Catherine. Now, poisoner queens are known to be able to ingest the deadliest of poisons. They are known to be able to survive the most venomous of snake bites. And poisoner queens have been reigning over Fenburn for a very long time. So if you support Catherine, you're supporting a line of queens that have already reigned supreme. If you support Catherine, you're already supporting a winning side. Now, I'm not going to lie, there's a lot of rumours out there that Catherine is not the strongest of all the queens, and this may well be true. When Catherine was supposed to be displaying her gift, it's safe to say that it did not go very well. She was supposed to be able to ingest these deadly poisons without so much of a stomach ache, but unfortunately this did not go to plan. Out of all the queens, Catherine probably does look the most sickly. She has to wear gloves to cover the marks on her arms from when she struggled with dealing with the poisons. And so naturally, I wouldn't blame you if you were thinking, well, why would I support Catherine? And so if you wanted to go and support the all-powerful Mirabella or the People's Queen Arsenault, that is fine. But the thing is, at the moment, I would say that the odds on Catherine becoming the reigning queen, are probably quite slim. Despite the fact that she's come from a line of poisoners that have always reigned supreme, I don't think she has the best chance. But that's precisely why you should be supporting her. She's a little bit sickly, she's a little bit thin, she's not doing too well at her gift, but the thing is, she is an underdog. She is the dark horse, she's the underdog, she is the one who is probably, at this point in time, least likely to win, which is precisely why we should be supporting her, because as we all know, it's usually the underdog who comes out on top. Top. In addition to that, both Mirabella and Arsinoe both have really great support networks. They both have a nice group of friends that they trust. Catherine doesn't really have anybody. She doesn't really have anyone who's on her side and fighting her corner and really has her best interests at heart. Catherine doesn't really have a great support network. The people that are around her, I find, can be quite deceitful and I feel like she has the opportunity to rise. She has the opportunity to come out of the ashes and be a really, really successful queen. I think you should be supporting Catherine. As you see, I have the lovely Catherine edition of Three Dark Crowns. I absolutely adored this book. It is one of my favourites of this year and I hope you guys pick it up. Because this video was sponsored, I've decided to do a little giveaway. So if you would like to win a copy of Three Dark Crowns, unfortunately it won't be the beautiful Catherine edition because Book Depository only has Arsenault's edition, which if you ask me, is a little bit of a conspiracy. If you would like to enter the competition to win a copy of Three Dark Crowns, the giveaway will be international. Please check my blog, which is linked down below, for all the information and how to enter. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you did enjoy this, please give it a thumbs up. And for the comments, I would like you guys to let me know which queen you will be supporting. There'll be no hard feelings if it's not Catherine. That's fine, because, you know, it, it, you'll see the error of your ways. But please let me know who you're supporting and why. If you haven't read the book, please let me know if you're considering picking up the book because you really, really should, because I love it. It's so good. I also entered the My Kind of Book trailer competition, so if you would like to see how I interpreted this book into a trailer, that's also linked down below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys all again soon. Bye!